how are you all doing today? So I am off to a uh, lunch with my friends today, and uh, this is what I did to my face. Very simple, easy, and achievable look. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be quick or not quick. It really depends on how practiced you are. And uh, so let's quickly get started. The first thing is obviously to moisturize, and uh, that is I'm using my Body Shop uh, Vitamin C moisturizer. Super luxurious, super nice, and doing great with my skin. Okay, so let's quickly apply it. Hmm, smells awesome. You must try your hands on it. It's 1995, but it's completely worth the money. Because I'm out in the daytime, I'm using our Shield sunscreen gel SPF 40, and uh, this is how this looks. It's a gorgeous product. This is very good for the combination skin. Put a travel mirror and try and apply it so that I can do a good job at it. Get it all get blended nicely. The next step coming up is my primer. This has to be used, uh, as in the La Shield sunscreen gel, has to be used at least 20 minutes in advance. Uh, all your sunscreens actually, and they should be used to your, uh, to all your exposed areas. Now, let's prime our face. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but I did uh, skip the priming mm, my uh, face for some bit. I was just lazy to buy, and then I was like, why well, I should spend a no. But I really realized the difference. If I put a moisturizer and straight go on to, um, uh, you know, applying the foundation, it doesn't do a good job. But when you put a primer and this pack one uh, is in the gel form, great for my combination skin. So, uh, you know, the blending is so, so, so much more nicer. The makeup stays for such a very long time. So, let's get on with the foundation. My Nykaa Skin Genius in the shade Warm Sand. Because I want the look to be super natural, because it's going to be daytime, I want to blend this whole thing with my hand only, with my fingertips only. Otherwise, if you want to build on the foundation a little bit better, you can also use a brush because it's quite a buildable foundation. I would say it is uh, light to medium coverage. Okay, so you can sort of go a little heavier on it too. But since I am looking at absolutely a uh, natural finish, I don't even plan to sort of conceal or something. You can almost wear it daily also. It's got hyaluronic acid into it. So it just does a great job and very easy to blend. blend. I also have the anti tan anti-pollution Nykaa Skin Shield Foundation but that's like a medium to heavy coverage mid-range foundation again uh, I think it's 200 above uh, this particular one okay so I'm done with my base I think yeah I blended well it's good to take your time with your base because what happens is that's where you start building on to everything literally everything okay so let's go get on to first uh, our eyes hmm? uh, for the eyes I am sticking with my Nykaa palette, Nykaa palette. Uh, this is uh, Dare to Wear Wet and Dry uh, eye, Eyeshadow Palette and it's it's what I got for free but I am totally loving it. It's a beautiful beautiful palette. I'm going to take uh, my Pack 391 brush and uh, take this rusty color, okay, that's the extra and just run it all over, okay just on the crease and all the places yeah and you can do an outward and upward blending too just for that uplifted feel like a little out and up and drum motion blending okay see this is uh, because I'm showing you I'm going really slow otherwise it can happen really fast too okay so I'm just dusting it all over the place and doing an outward and upward blending. Now with the same brush, I'm going to take the brown in the palette and just run it on the crease just to deepen my eyes. Just stick on, blend it, blend it. Again, go up and out for that 
nice shape that you'll get. And then, if you do not want to use a brush, I will take it with my finger, the color on my finger, like a champagne color this is, and put it here in the center. I can take some more color so that I get to blend. And put it all in the center and just blend it all. See? It's so beautiful. Go a little more with the color. Now let's do the same thing, second side, the champagne color. I take it in my finger. Okay. And uh, yet again, just put it in the eyelid here. Start blending first the inner corners and then outward. Okay. Uh, you can make your inner corner a little dark if you'd like. I'll take the same brush. I actually have a little more uh, smaller brush. Can't find it. So let's try to achieve it with this only. Uh, this and the corners just a little more brown and blend. So that you know this particular color just gets accentuated. That's it. Yep, so I'm done with my eyes almost. Oh, I found this particular brush. Anyways, what I can do is use it for my inner corners. Just lighten up the inner corners. Yeah, this. If you have white, you can use a white. Now I have a sweet little hack for you guys. So this is my color bar, old mascara. Whatever dried up color this is, I take this and I just brush it here. See that? And uh, yeah. so it just gives a very natural, nice, and quick finish. I'll be out in the sun, so I can also highlight. I'm just taking the lighter color in this palette and uh, put it on for that nice highlighting in the pictures when the girls and us will take the pictures. That's it. So that's it. For the eye uh, as in shadow let's put the kajal here's the kajal i fill my waterline fill the upper line okay because i want to keep it natural i'm not using any kajal i'm just going to use mascara uh, this is my lash sensational mascara this i have been using for a while now Okay, so I just opened it, called it up, and again this side, just put a little more color. Yeah. Contouring. Contouring makes a lot of sense. I'm using my pack uh, 302. Contouring makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. Uh, I may or may not do it too. That is fine because I think I have these cuts on my jawline, but still I find it very, um, you know, my, my my face looks very defined. To make a face cut, fill the brown in this. And just blend it, Keep blending upwards until you're not satisfied with your brown bond. I mean, I feel fine about my brown bond. This much is okay. I can use any denser brush. I mean, this I have, and I have not used the bond. I don't know, pack 227? Yeah, I can flatten this. This is a denser brush, and just blend upwards. See, it look absolutely natural. I'm going extremely slow with this tutorial because obviously we have to show it to you guys so let's blend with this one see and now my same brush will do the bronzing too I use the rust color that is there in the palette Warm my face. Warm my face. And uh, also, just let's blush on. 
This is color bar uh, rosy peach. Mm, it's almost over. See those char bars tukra that is left. <laughs> That's the extra. And I will flush it more towards my uh, cheeks of my apple. And then go. So that nice natural finish. I think creamy blushes when you apply like that makes more sense. But I have only powdered brushes and I'm working with whatever I have. That's fine. I'll just flush it up. Very lightly. See how gently I'm handling my brush. And then blend it up. Yeah. So let's contour the nose. Contouring my nose is like very difficult for me. I'm using real techniques of eyeshadow brush. Um, I think I'm gonna follow this line. But if I contour, what happens is um I think I find my nose more defined. I just anyways have this funny thing about my nose that oh god it's more dark. So let's blend that. I'm not so good at it. Anyways I'm not a professional artist. I'm just doing whatever I think will define my nose properly. Okay. So according to me, you create a line and just blend it downwards and then I'm taking this champagne color in my finger and going right down maybe I can invest in like a nose contouring brush maybe that's me, 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 me export. not sure <laughs> so that's it we're done with eyes yeah, yeah, everything. and lastly my favorite part the most easy part because it is got made easy with my Nika Perfect Pound Lip Color, it, they, they, they really have changed the game for me. It's such a game changer. I have the Perfect Pound Nude Me Not 5, 0, 5. Quit line it. Just created these lines for a fuller, deeper look. I'm going to take my Domantic Rose. I'm using a brush. Reason being, there's a lot of product gone inside here. My dear Tista, she, my daughter, what she did was, she took the lipstick, opened it and pressed it inside the towel. And then, all the lipstick is in that dark. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just mixing this color with the brown. And blending it. That's it. It's a supernatural, supernatural look. Extremely natural, not the supernatural power of type. Extremely natural finish to look. Uh, I'll just open my hair and uh, maybe carry them just like that. Or maybe do this, whatever works. That's it. And that's it. I am totally ready to go for my lunch. Very simple, easy. And today I was filming it with a lot of peace and relaxed mind. I was not in a hurry uh, because I planned it a little more in advance and ouch, I can't feel my feet. Oh, I'm sitting on them. Boo. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're done with this and I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, you stay blessed, stay gorgeous. Please like, please subscribe, please share, come up with your feedback, suggestions. You all have been doing that. You all have been doing that. So much love you have showered on me. Uh, I missed this, uh, this this whole recording thing. And I'm sure a lot of friends kept asking what happened. Videos band kar diya and all of that. So you all also missed it. Thanks, thanks so much for the love. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.